Welcome to another episode of Make Your Mark Monday. Today we're talking about interactive advertising and specifically the problems associated with push advertising. Um, when you're not really drawing people in um, through research or pay-per-click, the traditional form of pay-per-click, but, um, but maybe you're pushing banner ads or interactive ads. Specifically, I'd like to talk about interactive advertisements and, uh, and why some of these in the past have really failed. Um, websites are considered interactive advertisements because uh, people, you know, they interact with them and they go through the website in order to research certain things. Um, but, uh, but a lot of the interactive advertisements that you see um, that, um, that people usually refer to as interactive advertisements, there, um, there are a few problems associated with those. And one of the biggest problems is that they, they really interrupt what it is that you wanted to do. You might want to drive around the, you know, the whatever car on the screen, um, you know, as, as they let you do maybe in a, in a vehicle interactive advertisement, but it's getting in the way of, of whatever it is that you wanted to be there for in the first place. We'll talk about how to overcome that here in a minute. Um, a, a lot of times, again, they're irrelevant. And I've talked about this in previous videos where, um, where you can do a lot with the content on your website to make sure that you're only showing relevant ads to your users. Okay? Um, another one is they're really untimely. I mean, the, the ads aren't showing up when, um, you know, during a, a phase in the user's life when, when that ad is really going to make the biggest impact on them. Um, they're untrackable. Uh, we have no idea how many how many people we're showing this ad to uh, that that it's irrelevant for, and so we don't know how much fat there really really is. Okay, and then the last one is um, you know that it's it's kind of advertainment impossible. With a lot of brands, they realize that gosh, most of the really cool ads are the ads that we see in the Super Bowl that always show up in Ad Week. I mean, they're entertaining, a lot of them. And, uh, and one of the biggest problems with advertising is how do we create um, a really effective ad if we've got a serious market or a serious you know, target customer and, uh, and our, ad, you know, our product doesn't really lend itself to an, you know, to an entertaining type of, a, type of an ad. So a few things that we have noticed, a couple of you know, very short guiding principles here for advertisements. Um, the great interactive ads, they spark interest. They get people to that stage where they, they just want to ask more questions, like, wait a minute, how does it this? And then the interactive ad can actually answer those questions for them. It becomes a research medium. It induces research. It helps the consumer um, understand the product better and, and kind of goes beyond that. And yes, we can you know, spark the interest through uh, entertainment um, or an advertainment, as we've started to hear quite a bit, but, um, but really, once again, it induces the, um, the, the research on the, consumer's, uh, on the consumer side. And, and then the big part here is it fosters freedom. One of the, you know, a couple things that we saw here, interruptions, irrelevant, untimely, you know, these are the advertising problems, but all of these problems right here, they take away freedom from the consumer. And consumers really, really want that freedom. They want the freedom to be able to see an advertisement and do something with it, get it off the plate. Or they, they want to consume what they came to the website or to the television or whatever to consume. And, uh, and if they don't have that choice, then really advertisement gets in the way of them being able to have the freedom that they want. So fantastic interactive ads will you know, will really grant these things. They'll give more freedom. They'll they'll um, they'll go through and allow the user to do some of these uh, some of these things that they would like to be doing at this moment, but still be an effective medium, um, perhaps in the future. So on uh, on Wednesday, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the ideas to take an interactive ad idea and to turn it into something that that really could uh, could grant the freedom that a consumer wants, and and also a couple of um, of points on how to uh, to really spark creativity and foster that research that um, that your consumers are going to be able to uh, to do to uh, to really be sold on the product thanks again for tuning in